Okay. So, uh, yesterday uh, we covered up uh, uh, like uh, these uh, these topics which uh, uh, which are highlighted here. Uh, we covered up uh, uh, about writing the research papers and uh, we talked about dissertation and thesis as well. And uh, we also covered how to select your uh, research paper, how to download the research papers for free, how to download books for free or uh, for your research thesis or if you want to uh, you know read any uh, sort of document that is official and you are not uh, uh, you're not able to get the document for free or any sort of book that you wanted to download uh, yesterday I was not able to cover up this portion so to, uh, today I'll be showing this uh, as well and uh, we also covered how to read research papers that are the various uh, important points that uh, one should keep in mind uh, to be able to gather the information which is uh, which is uh, helpful for you to you know grasp the knowledge uh, or the important points to highlight which uh, might or might not be you know, useful uh, useful in your own research how to read uh, properly and then we also covered up how to start uh, writing your own research paper so in today's uh, session it will be around 40 to 45 minutes uh, and in this session we will cover up uh, these last uh, three uh, areas in which I'll start with uh, writing your first script and uh, I'll talk about a little bit of publishing but uh, since uh, it takes uh, a great effort to uh, come to this part so and I have not done uh, very much in this regard so I will share some points in it but uh, because I have no experience of publishing the papers I have done all these things so I can help uh, or I can have an opinion about all these but publishing is a different uh, uh, completely different uh, thing and it, it requires a, li a little bit more information regarding the uh, journals and regarding uh, selecting or finding uh, which uh, journal is suitable for you also uh, also what is important is uh, the time period because uh, the kind of uh, time period uh, various journals takes to write uh, or you know to publish your papers that is also important so we will cover that uh, thing in some time in the later but not uh, in this uh, particular session and lastly i'll show uh, or have a demo of um, the work that i have done until now so uh, let's just uh, uh, jump into how uh, and what is exactly uh, uh, what is exactly the basic uh, idea behind writing your writing your first manuscript or writing your uh, uh, first uh, you can say paper basically uh, how any research paper or any uh, manuscript works it has uh, it has a certain uh, key points in it for example it basically works on this model of amarad in which any manuscript must have at least minimum these uh, seven or eight uh, title points which you are seeing first one is title it's abstract it's keywords it's introduction methods result discussion references and acknowledgement what uh, most of uh, our work is uh, done like which is more which is the most important what are the uh, points which are most important for us is introduction methods result and discussion these other things like title abstract keywords references like references you uh, always keep tracks as you are writing for your thesis or for your paper uh, acknowledgments is uh, is is very rare and it's not very important to uh, focus on that uh, what is important for us is introduction methods result in discussion and i'll uh, get to uh, get to all these uh, uh, in a second when we will cover up the uh, cover up all of these in uh, uh, in different uh, in different uh, like individually I will I will show you um, the introduction the methods the result and the discussion part of the of my own current research paper which I am writing it's not going to be I'm not going to be publishing those but they are helpful for me to be able to uh, uh, to be able to use them in my dissertation file so and uh, that I'll be showing okay uh, now uh, instead of uh, like uh, people would uh, sometimes say to uh, first decide what is uh, uh, what is your uh, particular title of the paper or uh, you know introduction methods and all these i uh, specifically find out that uh, start work as if you have followed up from the yesterday's session 
then uh, we covered up until here that uh, you were able to write the summaries or how to write the summaries of your own research paper and then uh, we were also uh, we also talked about uh, uh, about the infrastructure about the uh, lab facilities which is available to you and this important point is that selecting the research paper which you think is uh, uh, which you think you can uh, replicate and can find and can you know have the results on until now or if you have uh, followed from the last uh, session until now uh, what at this point let let us suppose that you have a research paper you have gone through at least 20 to uh, 30 research papers and uh, you have collected information about it and you have decided that now okay i will try and i will uh, start uh, uh, my own research paper in this particular field let us say uh, let us uh, start uh, with uh, my topic that my topic of study is water quality uh, index and in uh, water quality index what do we what do we do how do i start uh, uh, writing uh, about the introduction about uh, uh, about the methods or about the uh, testing we will get to the testing and uh, um, uh, testing and validation of results uh, later but uh, let us just uh, start uh, with the very first uh, uh, very first idea which uh, you will uh, find out to do is writing about uh, about all these like uh, you have to write uh, from the very beginning the introduction the methods the analysis that you are doing and the results that you are getting in later part but you have to start writing about the topic which uh, you have information for example uh, from from yesterday's session we have selected a topic of um, there was a few questions regarding uh, regarding um, uh, regarding heavy uh, heavy metals and how to uh, how to have how to uh, gain information about it and the effect of heavy metals on on human life and all so uh, following that up i have replaced the topic from my own topic and here are the files which uh, currently i am writing and i'll show you each one of them uh, uh, by and by and this particular portion uh, we are covering up for which uh, level for the introduction uh, introduction and methods level like uh, until now, if you have followed, uh, then we have started from the questions. We gone through uh, Orchid ID. We gone through uh, selecting your topic. We gone through finding a paper which you can replicate. Then um, uh, what are the things required for your research paper? And now we are covering up the introduction and methods part of of our uh, of our own research. In that, the very basic or the very first step is start writing uh, what your topic is so my topic for uh, my dissertation is water quality index it's a topic related with subject of uh, uh, water uh, water like uh, water treatment and uh, the kind of pollution which uh, various rivers or any stream uh, has so uh, what i have uh, are, uh, what i have written about water quality index i'll show you and it's just uh, uh, going to be a very 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 brief introduction this is i'm i might or might not uh, include all this information which you are seeing here in my in my research papers but uh, definitely it is going to be helpful uh, for me uh, using to be, uh, to use it in um, uh, to use it in my own uh, own dissertation so uh, basically what is a uh, water quality index there is no theory i can see uh, yet i have written but uh, i will go about uh, the theories and uh, uh, here you can see the methods and uh, here is one explanation of uh, weighted arithmetic water quality index now what is basically a water quality index a water quality index uh, is uh, a number uh, which basically tells you about uh, the quality of water or the quality of any stream or any river or any uh, uh, any uh, you can say body which uh, uh, which has n number of parameters in it and what a water quality index does is calculate uh, uh, calculate the overall quality of water based on uh, based on the parameters which are available in the water for example here you can see there are n number of uh, n number of parameters here any any water quality stream or any uh, uh, any you can say uh, area of water it uh, it will it will have n number of these parameters which are basically divided into physical chemical and biological now uh, 
when we look when we go uh, deep into this like uh, gr- when we compare ground water to surface water then these parameter changes like in surface water you would find a lot of concentration of tds tss than in ground water uh, you would find a lot of con- uh, a lot of uh, uh, like uh, a lot of mp in then uh, then uh, then ground water and um, surface water is uh, is uh, is comparatively more polluted than ground water so these parameters changes and what water quality index does is help you to understand the quality of uh, water based on these parameters and he- here in this particular uh, in this particular document what i have done is uh, gone through each of these parameters analyze them and written some information which is going to be uh, make my thesis look a bit more concise what i have done is first given the information regarding all the uh, type of parameters available for example physical chemical or biological and next i have uh, given the information about the parameters which are available for me because i am currently working on the parameters which are available by cpcv in their uh, uh, in on their website of narmada and in that particular uh, data i have at around 23 parameters in general there are more than 43 49 parameters uh, of any river quality uh, based on category i am saying because there is a standard available uh, by uh, bis like if you go and check is uh, 22961982 then you would find that there are classes available of uh, uh, of water in which uh, they classify uh, the water for example class a class b class c class d and the uh, number of parameters changes from class a to class c and it also gives you a range of those these those parameters in which they should fit in to be able to be um, in that particular class so in this particular document which i'll be adding in my own dissertation i have given some very general very basic information regarding each of these parameters and uh, what is their effect uh, how they are calculated and what's their uh, what's the importance and in general the uh, hard and fast theory about all these parameters now uh, this is not a one source document which i have prepared there are n number of sources and number of books which i have uh, uh, which i have gone through to write all this now next we come up to the methods that what are now you have the methods now what are the various ways by which you can uh, compute what compute the water quality index so i have a different uh, 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 different uh, you can say um a different uh, file for this for that particular thing because i wanted to have a separation um in between each of the uh, each of the areas which i am writing about for example if i am writing about the introduction then i would have different file of it, different file for it if i am writing about the indexes and about the about the information then i have a different file for it spatial variation temporal variation is because uh, it's a it's a different uh, area because uh, i'll i'll talk about it when i mean i'll show you the demo of when i was calculating the uh, wqi values based on these parameters so uh, let's talk about the methods methods uh, about water quality index there are uh, n number of indexes available uh, by uh, various uh, scientists and uh, basically i have selected until now uh, to be to be working on these so that is national sanitation foundation water quality index or in short nsf wqi then we have canadian uh, council of ministry of environmental water quality index then we have oregon water quality index weighted arithmetic uh, method which we will which we will uh, you know have a demo on and lastly there was one more index index which yesterday i started working on is overall pollution index which is uh, developed by neeri and hopefully i will uh, use this particular index weighted arithmetic mean and the second one index to be able to uh, go ahead with my uh, research so let's talk about uh, these are the area which uh, i'll be writing about these in the method section of my paper now let's let's talk about uh, one of the methods that is weighted arithmetic water quality index so now i have the data like in the uh, form of parameters which are available to me for example for the calculation of water quality index you have to have all these uh, uh, values of n number of parameters and based on the values of these parameters you will define how is how is the quality of water but how would you define it what are what which method you are going to implement so we just looked at n number of uh, four or five methods among those there is one method which i am 
showing here that is weighted arithmetic uh, quality index what in this method we do in this we collect the physicochemical quality of uh, uh, physicochemical uh, parameters of water then we calculate the propositionality constant using k and in that k we use the standard permissible uh, permissible limit for that particular parameter and we uh, uh, we uh, find out one upon that particular parameter and we also find out the summation of all these parameters and uh, we again find out the one upon of summation of those parameters and that is the value of k that we have if it does not make much sense i'll show you uh, how i came up uh, with that particular index uh, in an excel file which is uh, right here which you can see uh, let's just first finish up the method part and then you will move on to the calculations next you have to calculate the qn value and the qn value is calculated by this simple formula in which you have vn minus vi upon sn minus vi in which vn is the estimated value like estimated value which in your data you have and sn is the permissible limit which you can find out or you can have uh, from from the is code that is available then we find out the weight parameter that is using wn and uh, we multiply this weight parameter from qn that is the observed value and we divide it by the summation of wn and hence we have the water quality index it will make much more sense with the particular calculation part of of your uh, of the of the data set so this is the method that we have explained now let's go into the good stuff let's go and find out uh, about how we are actually going to be doing it in um, in the in the excel or in uh, in the real uh, part so this is the data set which you are seeing currently on your screen of uh, of a of a particular station which is situated at uh, Amarkantak or at origin point in Anupur district of uh, Narmada and it's a data data set of 2017 okay year 2017 here you have a data set uh, uh, you can see here uh, these are the parameters that uh, are available for example you have turbidity values of turbidity ph conductivity tds uh, like we have so many so many of these parameters uh, do cod and all these then we have the units of these parameters then uh, here in the column in this column we have the name of the months like we have january february march april may june july all these and this data set represents for 2017 now in here we have the data set for 2018 okay and the same goes for uh, turbidity ph and the other values and that on the same station in 2018 we have values for january february march april may june july and the same is for 2019 and 2020 then it means like four year of four year of data set is available actually when you will go on the website and download the data set it is not going to be in this particular form it's a uh, because it's a uh, it's a scan sheet so i converted it uh, into excel and uh, spend a lot of time to be able to get up to this point now uh, since i my topic for this particular uh, uh, thesis is uh, uh, finding out uh, what finding out this uh, water quality index or wqi based on what based on machine learning but since i am using uh, uh, the method of supervised uh, supervised uh, machine learning so first i need to have the values of wqi uh, with the data set but since i do not have the values of uh, of uh, of the wqi it's i have only the parameters so first what i need to do is find out uh, uh, find out the wqi based on based on uh, these parameters which are available for you and for that i have selected the method of uh, weighted arithmetic mean of water quality index there is one more that is uh, the overall pollution index i'll show it if the time permits because that is a bit more in detail so here uh, here first i have to calculate what calculate the water quality, water quality index why because i had the parameters but i do not have the value of water quality index but i do know the method that how we can calculate how we can calculate the water quality index now in that we studied about uh, calculating wn wi and all these things but first what i need to do is to remove these like trace or bdl or nil or all these values because once uh, uh, because uh, the calculation i have to have uh, numbers if there if there is any categorical data then i am not be able to calculate uh, calculate that particular value so first i have to remove all these uh, all these um, areas in which 
the uh, calculation was not available or, or a concrete data set was not available. And then what I did is uh, send that data to MATLAB and I run a couple of commands which basically did uh, for the example purpose is replaced the value, uh, uh, re replaced the points in which data was not available from uh, the mean value of that particular data. So it is it is one of the value to fill up the points in which or fill up the uh, fill up the uh, uh, areas in which you uh, in which it might be it might be possible that your station was not working or the values uh, were not available for you. There can be any uh, there can be uh, any reason for that. But to uh, calculate the value or to feed your uh, feed your network, you have to have um, all these values and there are various methods to uh, fill these values i have just selected for the for the example purpose is to replace them using mean values it's not a perfect method to do so but for the sake of the example i have selected in my main model i have used uh, a moving median method in which the values are not going to be uh, just replaced by the median by because it basically what it does is uh, gives us a straight line in in our data set which is not going to be very helpful for our model to work on so for this just this particular example all the uh, values all the places in which uh, uh, we have uh, we do not have the value of uh, of ammonia or nitrite or nitrogen i took the value i took the uh, median uh, mean of uh, all these values which are available and replace them uh, with the with the uh, with the mean value uh, uh, with uh, replace the blank point with the mean value so now we have what is a data set in which you have all the values that are available to you and all the empty points are filled now here i have done what i have done the calculation for uh, various uh, for the water quality index the very first uh, very first uh, 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 very first row here stand, uh, represents for BIS standards or the SN value that we have this you can find out using uh, using the um, using the IS code next we can we calculate the value of 1 upon SN so you just uh, take this value of 6.5 divide uh, divide by 1 uh, 1 upon SN and you have all these values and uh, you have to find out the we have, because we have to use the summation of SN as well. So this is the value in which you have summation of SN and we also have the summation of uh, 1 upon SN and summation of SN. Then uh, we have the value of K, we have the value of W and then we have, we have the value of uh, ideal values of 7. Now all these we have to fit in where we have to fit in our WQI formula and that particular formula I have uh, done in this particular example. You see here there is a uh, there are all these columns like uh, if you remember uh, we just saw the method in which we have to calculate the QN, we have to calculate the WN, we have to calculate the K, we have to calculate the SN, we have to calculate W. So all these calculation I have done in uh, in Excel. I could have used MATLAB, but since it, uh, since uh, MATLAB programming, I'm very new to it, and I wanted to um, you know fa fast up the process. That's why I have uh, used MATLAB. Sorry, uh, that's why I have used Excel. Hopefully, uh, this for the same particular uh, method, I will use uh, MATLAB as well. So now what we have? Now we have uh, all these data points for us. This is the this is the sheet for. Uh, only the um, only the January uh, part of uh, of that station, and in that I have station one, two, three, two station twenty because there are fifty stations available over the course of Narmada and uh, the values of all these parameters. And I have, and here I have calculated what okay, I have calculated the value of WQI. So now the method portion of uh, of our uh, of our what of our uh, WQI is done. Now we have uh, until now gone through uh, gone through the method which we will use for the calculation of water quality index, and uh, now we have the values of the parameters and also the values of what and the values of uh, water quality index. Now we have to go through uh, machine learning one uh, once one more. And the last thing because. Uh, my topic for um, uh, for this for uh, this particular uh, thesis is machine learning. So I I I think that I should give a brief uh, knowledge uh, or brief introduction of machine learning. We will we will take a look uh, at the same in our uh, presentation slides as well for uh, for a very uh, uh, for for a very general uh, outlook about it. But uh, for the thesis part of it, like in the dissertation, how I will be writing. 
so machine learning basically is a kind of artificial intelligence and deep learning is a part of it what basically machine learning does is you have a training data set um, and using one of the methods of a machine learning which uh, can be supervised unsupervised or reinforced you develop a what develop a model and what that particular model does is next time when you input a different data set using that particular learning or using that particular model which it has already built on it gives you a certain sort of output for example in my case i have uh, i have a training data set in which i have the values of parameters for example uh, for example ph or turbidity nitrite nitrogen ammonia um, uh, um, uh, and other parameters as well so using those parameters what i did i calculate the water quality index from a arithmetic mean value now i wanted to do the same thing from what from using neural networks or from, or from using one of the methods of machine learning it means that i want a computer to do this thing for me and i want to teach it to a what to a computer now uh, this is a very general idea of uh, what machine learning is and i don't want to go into the very details of all these because uh, they are not going to be they are not going to make much sense until you have some sort of like uh, background uh, towards it but uh, since uh, i'm uh, I, I will be showing you a, a demo of uh, demo of running a uh, running a amn model so i should give you a very brief introduction regarding how a neural network or an ann or artificial neural network work what basically happens is that um, machine in machine learning you have a machine learning method that is supervised unsupervised or reinforced and using that you develop the model in ann or in artificial neural network that particular model is replaced by what is replaced by the neural network that you build on and how human and that particular neural network is very very similar or works very very similar to uh, how we humans uh, you know how we humans uh, uh, learn anything like in our brain we have neurons and the kind of information uh, we uh, whether collect or we learn or we have is basically uh, represented by the connection of those uh, those neurons i i know that it's a very it's not very easy to demonstrate here or i do not have that sort of uh, figure or anything like that but just bear with me and understand it that how human brain works is that uh, for example when you see a cat or when you see a dog you are able to figure out uh, uh, you are able to differentiate or you are able to figure out what a cat or what a dog is how you how your brain like what's going on in your brain is that you have a certain set of neurons in your brain which have some sort of connections to it it's not a memory based system but it's an infrastructure it, it's a connection based uh, uh, you can say web and there and those neurons help you to differentiate uh differentiate between a cat and a dog this is how human brain works but it is not very similar to a artificial neural network in an artificial neural network what you have is a node which something which represented by this particular figure and in you have a connection weight what connection weight does is basically help you to uh give the importance to uh, to that particular uh, uh, neural uh, that particular parameter which what you are doing what is you are um, inputting so this is not very uh, very interesting stuff to uh, uh, to you know uh, work on but uh, it's very fascinating to be able to if you have some sort of understanding and if you are able to gather whatever i'm saying in a very basic manner uh, then uh, hope so uh, i uh, hope so this particular model will will make much sense now uh, once we know how a neural network work and once we know what we are trying to do from our own uh, particular set of machine learning now uh, we came into this particular uh, uh, program that is called matlab why it is uh, this is a very uh, well known industry uh, based software uh, like um, uh, any anyone who's working in machine learning they either use python or matlab currently i am using matlab and here i will show you an ann example ann is what ann is an artificial neural network and what we will do is we will try to predict 
the value of water quality index which we calculated uh, in our uh, in our excel sheet if you remember that we have we had this uh, excel, uh, we have uh, we had this excel sheet in which we had uh, stations and uh, uh, stations and uh, parameters and we calculated what we calculated the water quality index of that particular uh, using those parameters using what using one of the methods of uh, um, calculating a water quality index now we are going to do the same using an artificial neural network and how we are going to do it uh, i will show you step by step before we start doing it we have to uh, we have to uh, arrange a data set into divide a data set from target and from training now here you see uh, we have uh, i have uh, taken all these values and uh, all these parameters are uh, replaced by parameter 1 or variable 1 variable 2 variable 3 and he, these this is our training data set in which we have around uh, 20 uh, 20 in the values of 20 stations and these all represent this is the value of ph this is the value of uh, this is the value of turbidity these are the values of ph these are the values of uh, electrical conductivity and all these and this is our training data set this is our testing uh, data set which is uh, the uh, which is the water quality index or wqi number which we were having now uh, what we are going to be doing first the very first step uh, what we have to do is import these data set uh, in our uh, workspace and uh, for the training data set i have given the value of x and for testing data, uh, for the target or uh, target data set i have given the name of p I'll start by uh, uh, running an NN tool or this uh, basically it is short for neural network tool. What uh, this will do is uh, you have to give um, all these two uh, all these data to the neural network to the neural uh, network and, and you have to create your own neural network and then we will look at and we will compare how that neural network performed based on the based on the calculate or based on its own uh, learning it what it had and how the output was given so in the input we will go and use the import and we will give the um, parameters of x as an input data set in which we have all the 14 parameters of ph tds TD, uh, tss ammonia nitrate nitrogen uh, electrical conduct conductivity and all that we will click we will click on input and um, uh, it will create and uh, uh, it will create an x variable in our data set which you can see right here like before it was not here but now it is here Next, the same we will do for with T, but here uh, we will select a target data set and we will click an import. So, here you can see that now we have an input data set and a target data set for our, uh, for our neural network. Next, uh, we have to create the neural network as well because we do not have that. We will click on new and here you will give the data name to that neural network, the type, the import data. We have import data of X, the target data, we have the target data of t the function adapter uh, performance number of layers uh, all these uh, are um, all these if i start explaining all these and it's going to take a bit more time i don't want to go into the details of all this but just bear with me because um, uh, because uh, a neural network works on based on layers there are hidden and there are uh, uh, output or input layers and the more layers you have the more uh, based on the complexity of your data the well you can um, uh, make uh, a better prediction so uh, currently i'm using two layers and uh, if you if i click on you then you can see here this is your input and here we have a, uh, a hidden layer this is your output layer, and we will given we will get an output of one why because we have 14 parameters in the input of 14 variables in the input like ph tds tss and we are what we are calculating what we are calculating only one parameter that is wqi value of uh, value of that um, of of water uh, using uh, using all these 14 parameters and uh, we are not going to give any sort of uh, any sort of uh, formula or anything to this particular uh, uh, this particular uh, these particular layers so these 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 neurons because there are 14 in number and what uh, how so how it will uh, if you may ask how it will do the calculation it will use one of the methods of uh, training the function that is train nlm to train the model itself by itself so computer is going to learn based on the input and the output that it is giving find out uh, some sort of relationship in between them on its own and it will give us a uh, it will give us an a output so let's just uh, we have created uh, 
uh, we have created uh, this particular neural network and we will hit create so now we have a neural network to it as well now to start working with our neural network we will double click and double click on it and go into this particular tab of training and in that we will again select input and we will select target and we will hit train the network so what this network the uh, what this does because it it it, 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 it was completed into a couple of uh, it in a very millisecond because we have given it only 20 data points so it was very fast it didn't take, um, it didn't took uh, any any much time by clicking on the performance by uh, on the training set and training uh, training state and also the regression we can find out uh, various graphs which uh, which were used what this is meaning is this this is the training and validation part of uh, part of our data that we had around 20 uh, 20 station uh, we have around 20 parameters and uh, that those were divided into uh, in the ratio of 8 to uh, 8 to 2 and the 80 percent of data was used in training and the two percent was used for the validation this is how this is how that data performed well what all these things mean is not very important for for us to understand currently because they, these are a bit more technical and i have to give you a lot more insight to be able to make you understand what all these means but uh, once you start building your own model um, you will have a better understanding of, of all these graphs now the good stuff that uh, okay now uh, we have uh, given we have created a network we have given input we have an output and um, now let us see if we have to compare uh, if we have to compare how our data set work based on uh, based on the data set or based on the values that were available to us if we have to see then how it is then we, we can look at using uh, using this particular t that is our trained data set which means to say these are the values which we calculated using excel using uh, uh using the method of uh, weighted uh, arithmetic mean and we calculated it using what using uh, that particular formula now what uh, this what this is telling that is network output is that this is the output that we got using the model which trained itself without using any sort of formula uh, from us it looked at the testing it, it looked at the uh, variables that were available for you for example these were the variables these are the values of ph tds tss and n number of um, 14 parameters and this is this these were the values that uh, that uh, um, that uh, was available to the uh, to the model and what the model did is analyze those individual parameters analyze the testing and figured out its own method and give, give us this value that the first based on the data set uh, the first water quality index according to the 14 parameters it calculated to be 81 and r that we calculated was 70 the second was uh, from uh, from our calculation was 60 but the network told it was about 58 so it was very close to it uh, we go to third then and at the third station the uh, water quality index from our calculation was 71 but the network said it was 81 so you can see there is a very uh, at the station 4 you can see it's a it, it made a very good prediction like uh, at station 4 it was 52.0815 and the model also predicted uh, for the same uh, at uh, 5 uh, 5 also it was uh, very very good uh, enable to predict at number 6 it was also very good you know, very very well uh, very uh, predicted it very well so what uh, what this is basically uh, in this particular example we saw is that we created a artificial neural network of two layers we gave those uh, those uh, we gave that particular neural network um, some sort of parameters and we recreated our own neural network and that neural network based on its own learning provided that provided uh, us with these sort of results and these were the results that we calculated so this was a general overview of of how one of the method of machine learning worked this was this was basically an example of machine learning using what using artificial neural network now that method can be replaced like in the method uh, part we have uh, used artificial neural network you can use the supervised learning or unsupervised learning uh, to uh, in that particular method as well so 
this is uh, let's get let's get back to our own uh, um, uh, own uh, presentation that how far we were uh, we completed uh, uh, we completed almost uh, anything that almost every point which i wanted to share and uh, uh, okay we have gone through writing we have gone uh, publishing is uh, i'm not going to be able to cover because uh, um, because uh, i have very less information about it i have also given a demo of the work that uh, i have uh, uh, I, ha I am doing currently and uh, how am i how am i following that up uh, the very last thing which i wanted to show is for downloading books that uh, you want uh, to read uh if uh, like i can see shubhas and uh, uh, saurabh uh, can you uh, can any one of you uh, tell me any book that uh, in your engineering or in your uh, uh, in in the time if you in, like uh, which book that uh, you want to download or you are not you might or might not be getting it uh, uh, in uh, in a prop, like for your research or for your studies uh, if any book that you can mention uh tell me and i'll try to find it using using the internet and I'll, and and i'll show you a few websites uh, using which you can uh, find out those books for example if i go to google scholar and uh, uh, and here I, if i'll go and ask for the books on uh, let us say artificial uh, artificial intelligence okay and in artificial intelligence i have this particular book um, by R. H. Mitchell or T. Cornell that is available on Spinger, and for to buy that particular ebook, I would have to pay around fifty or eighty-five euros. Okay, and uh, if I go on Amazon, might be possible. It was not. It will not be available. Uh, like, let us just check. Uh, uh, let us okay. From here, we can check uh, uh, itself. Uh, if I have to buy about this particular book, and if I have to basically buy this particular book, then uh, okay, this something nothing is available here. But uh, if I have to buy this particular book, or if I have to read this particular book, then I would have to find out uh, in some way to be able to do it. Like these are chapters are available, but uh, hopefully you would have to pay um, uh, for this this particular um, uh, this particular amount to be able to. Um, to be able to read this book now there is a very uh, good website which uh, most of the time works for me is and that the name of that website is libgen if you just uh, uh, type uh, uh, libgen sorry then you will you will be uh, directed to this particular website which is called library genesis and uh, what you can do is just uh, search for uh, uh, for your book that uh, you want and uh, you will be able to uh, get the uh, get the book in uh, like hopefully 80 to 95 percent of time uh, that basically works for me so this is the website uh, that i was talking about if you go to uh, home then uh, this is the website that uh, this is the page that i think so you will be able to see uh, just type uh, libgen.rs might be possible yeah okay this is the website with that i was talking about if you have to look for uh, uh, look for uh, the books that uh, you want then uh, you can basically just paste the text and uh, search and here you see the same book that is available for you this is the book that uh, we were talking about like uh, uh, here you see this was the book the same book is available for you here in this particular um, in this particular uh, page and uh, you can download it for free and uh, also search for any of the books that you want and for download you can just go to click on uh, one of these numbers and uh, uh, it will uh, it will you know, it will take you to a different website or uh, it will open up uh, a new dialog box in which most of the time uh, the, uh, the book that uh, you want will be available to you uh, like one of them will work like number third is working currently for this particular book and if i click on click here uh, this book is available and i can download the pdf uh, version of this particular book here for free and the same goes for any type of book that if you can find that book on google books or uh, like it's a, if it's an um, internationally published book uh, from spin from spinger or from any other uh, publication then um, 
that book you can download hopefully uh, because of uh, my internet or because of i'm using a vpn currently so i'm not able to download that particular book but trust me it works almost 95 percent of time i have never ever uh, gone through any uh, any book which i am not able to okay, look see now i am able to download that particular book and uh, here uh, this session i am going to conclude here if you guys have any questions then you can ask me on uh, on my instagram or currently for the youtube i'm saying that you can uh, you can comment down below or you can basically drop me a, drop me an email or currently if you guys have any questions then you can ask otherwise here this is the conclusion of uh, of our today's session uh, session 1 uh, i recorded but uh, i was not able to uh get the uh, mic to work uh, mic to work so hopefully the re this recording of session 2 will be available on my channel so if you want to go and rewatch it again then you can go and uh, uh and and then and have the all the information that you want now you can see the, i have the i have the book of, uh, available to me for free without paying any sort of money so this now uh, in this session we also covered up uh, these as well so i hope i was able to uh, i will i was able to give uh, some sort of help and uh, some sort of understanding uh, with the work that currently i am doing and uh, all these other topics as well if you have find this information then uh, that's very important for you and uh, that's very good uh, for me and for you as well hopefully in the future i'll do these sessions more and uh, that's it for this particular session thank you for joining and uh, yes here uh, i can do the session thank you for uh, uh, th thank you for tuning in and if you have any questions you can ask otherwise uh, you are free to leave